you don't know the name, you will know. My, now, Myron Roll, you got to love this name. This guy is a former NFL player. He's now a third-year neurosurgery resident at Mass General Hospital. And as you can imagine, he has been very busy. And the lessons he learned on the football field, he's still using today. I've always wanted to uh, be a neurosurgeon. But first, he wanted to play football. Myron Roll was a safety at Florida State while completing pre-med studies and played three years in the NFL with the Titans and Steelers. I just wanted football to sort of take me as far as it could. And once it did, and once I got all of it out of my body, I said, let's move into medicine so that we can still contribute to society and I can still live this lifelong dream of fixing people and helping people. Good morning, everyone. It's Dr. Myron Roll, 5.45 a.m., Tuesday morning. Walking into Mass General Hospital. Several buses here to help us in, workers to fight the effort against COVID-19. Our neurosurgical floor has turned into a COVID-19 only place and there's this uh, surge clinic that's being used by the hospital that's now being staffed and manned by people who are surgeons, people who are not medically related, just kind of helping out like all hands on deck. So as soon as you get into the hospital, which I'm here now, you have to put on these protective masks. Everybody has to wear them. Roll told me football taught him to be a team player. One of the lessons that's helped prepare him for this crisis. And then I think the biggest crossover trait that's helped me the most has been mitigating pressure. You have to remain calm, remain cool, go back to your fundamentals, and do right. the best you can for your patient and have a good outcome. And it was the same way when it was fourth down and, you know, backed up and offense is driving and you got to make a big stop. There's a lot of pressure. You have to fundamentally go back to your basics. Where do you see the NFL heading right now? Do you think there's going to be a season? I would say it's unlikely. I think it will be a while before NFL or any professional sports um, league gets back going because, you know, you have to just ensure the safety of not only your players but also the fans who come and see you, the vendors. You know, all has to be back in order. And Dr. Roll says we're not close to that yet. You see the numbers on the rise in New York. How do you compare Massachusetts to New York? So I think Massachusetts right now is maybe a little bit behind New York, but in a week or two from what we're hearing, it's, it's probably going to maybe reach New York or even uh, supersede New York, honestly. I, I don't think we've seen the worst of it. The peak hasn't hit yet, and it will soon, so we all need to certainly be prepared, especially our healthcare workers who are on the front lines. Do you see an, an end in sight? I, I do. I'm optimistic. I think we have some brilliant women and men who are studying this and working incredibly hard uh, in laboratories, finding novel ways to fix a novel problem. Uh, it will happen. I'll tell you, he is very, very impressive. Roll told me that it is so important that everybody has to do their part and that no one is invincible.